So we are here again, huh? Welcome back to another check out my complete video. I think, I, think we need to, we need, I think we need to jazz it up a bit. Sounds so you like, want to change the name of sounds what? Sounds a little is... boring. Just bored up, you know, complete video or setup video. Welcome to the most tremendous board setup in the universe. Well, we got to tell them, wait, hold, what's up with this one then? Yeah, this one. Oh, okay, so I did a little experiment. I was riding an A25 board and I decided I wanted to try going to an A. 0.125 for some reason, and then I decided uh, that I wanted to go from the venture high 5.6s to venture lows, and so doing that, I had I decided, well, I might as well go back to 51 wheels from 52, and I did it. I skated it. I got used to it. It was good. The original reason why I wanted to go lower trucks because I was having a lot of issues with my switch flips. They were rocketing. I was having rocket flips. And going to the lower trucks kind of helped it out a little bit. Lower trucks, a little bit smaller wheels, kind of helped it out. But then I ran into an issue the other day. I was skating the flat bar, and I just went to do a front feeble on the flat bar and on the lower trucks. Not that there's anything wrong with it, but sometimes on the lower trucks, if you like skating rails or flat bars, the kingpins stick up a little higher on ventures. And so my kingpin got caught on the flat bar and it hucked me and landed on my back on the flat bar. Thank God somehow like my reflexes caught it. Wasn't too bad, but it scared me, it spooked me. Cause I was like, well, I don't want it to happen on the handrail or on any other like more dangerous rail. So I was like, maybe I'll just go back to the higher trucks cause the kingpin's a lot lower on the higher trucks and they have uh, much less room to snag on a ledge or a rail or anything so that's kind of I was like all right let me just go back but I'm still gonna stick to the 8125 board but I am gonna go back up to 52 wheels also so uh, sometimes that's what you get when you experiment you find out what you like what you don't like so try things out so let's put on grip tape right right now I have <laughs> some mob grip why why is it why filming you is like, like, I'm sorry, I don't mean to laugh during video, guys. I apologize. I know you guys don't want to hear my voice, but I'm just laugh. It's just funny. Like, it's just funny to me. I'm sorry. Well, you know, I have a feeling <laughs> this video is going to take a while because I keep getting interrupted here. You got it. All right. Appreciate it. Uh, <laughs> sorry. All right. Let's, let's get serious. All right. Serious voice now. Okay. Let's, let's be honest, Mike. If it's you and I... <laughs> Getting serious is doomed. No chance. Have so. you ever? Sorry, I was just. I want to ask. Have you ever did the back in the day? Like I used to grip my boards where you just the three put, lines. No, 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 three lines were really dope. But you just put like the front of it, and then you unpeel slowly and like tap, 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 nah. tap. Uh, never did that. Nah, and I didn't even do that before they like, like with mob before they had like the, the already the holes in the grip, so you don't get air bubbles. Cause kids back in the day. They had to invent, I think Louis Barletta invented it for Mob. Really? They, I think they patented it, if I'm not mistaken. But uh, there used to be no holes in the grip tape, so you would get mad air bubbles. But what we used to do is just take uh, like a needle or like take your razor blade. There was no bubbles. Like this, and you just poke where the bubbles are, and then you just... Didn't you skate for monkey sticks, or what was the grip tape? Monkey grip. Monkey grip. Yeah, I skated for monkey, I skated for grizzly... That's about all. Never got skated for Black Magic? No, never skated for Black I've skated a lot of Black Magic when I was a kid. When Fulfill the Dream came out, they used to have this, I forgot what exactly what it was called. They used to have this thing. They, um, the Shorty's Hardware Kit? It was a Shorty's, it was the kit. Like it was a bag. Mm -hmm. It would come with your sheet of grip, come with hardware, come with bushings. Dodo bushings? Yeah, the dodos. It come with riser pads. Uh, it would come with uh, bearings, Black Panther bearings. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to say it even came with like some spare bearing, spare hardware, spare like a couple things. That was so dope. I feel yeah. like that was ahead of its time. No, that, I, I, dude, that was the coolest thing ever. So my mom got me that. But when it would come in that, um, that kit, they would already cut up in squares. So you could put the three lines if you wanted it, you know. You know what's funny? I always just see Mikey Taylor have the three lines on his board. Yeah, we all did it. During Fulfill the Dream, when that came out, psh, everybody was rocking the three line. I did it, it too. I did it on one of my setups when I was a kid. That shit was gangster. I 
Another thing too that I uh, used to that I saw Ardo do uh, like in Medic Mahdi. I always thought it was cool. I don't know why, but you know when he takes the board and he like rubs oh, yeah, it upside on the ground. Yeah, yeah. I never. I thought it was like a style thing because I was a kid. I didn't. I know. got that from Arto too back then. Yeah. No, it's because when you start skating the first time, your board lands upside down and like, like sometimes if it's not like really sanded down, like that's why also guys when they cut the grip tape, they sand it down the edges because sometimes if you don't do that. Uh, and you just cut the grip tape off and leave it raw with the, the cut raw like that, it, you can like do your trick and say like the first time you mess up and your board lands up it can start peeling the grip and the grip can start peeling. Oh, up. that's going to be annoying. Yeah. So there's a certain little... Was it the word of nuance? Of yeah, certain, certain uh, nuances. Putting together your board, especially gripping your board, is, it's almost an art. It's art in it of itself. If it, the board lands upside down or whatever, slides around, sometimes, you know, your grip can start peeling. A lot of us pros, just give it a little. Just giving you guys some pro rank tips, you know what I mean? Now that the grip tape's on, this is a Paul Rodriguez Primitive Deck. I should know the name of this graphic series, but I'm sorry, unfortunately, I don't remember what the graphic series name is off the top of my head right now. I, I'm but gonna- this is a eight go. point, can I, can I get to one thing? Sorry, sorry, I, I don't think that board's out yet. Sorry, I just, I don't know if it's out yet. It might be unseen, so I'm just, just giving you a heads up. Well, it's clearly being seen. Um, I, it looks why like- Why are you sweating so much? It's hot, I'm holding the camera. Show the, show the people your forehead, right? I don't please, show, please. It's, it's, it's hot, please. Bro. It's a hot Show one. the people your forehead. Look how much he's sweating just filming me. Hold on, yeah, there it is. Pretty hot. This particular board is a 8.125. Once again, it's twin noses, so it's symmetrical, so I can skate my board whatever way I have it, it feels fine. So I don't have to think about flipping back over, flipping around. I, I like it, it's coming handy. I just wish that I started doing this earlier in my career. Do a quick little Allen wrench through the holes there, and then I take this um, screwdriver and I just like that so that you don't have to like ah, press so hard, press the hardware in too hard. You can just like, it kind of just fits right. Yeah, I don't know why I'm sweating, bro. Dude, it's, you act like this is something random. You literally sweat every second of the day, Lord knows why. Drink break. Okay, so at this part of the setup, I need a refreshment. And what better to have than an A-Shock Accelerator Cherry Limeade. Delicious. Zero sugar, natural electrolytes, all good, all good stuff. Okay, now back to the skateboard. Using here the Paul Rodriguez Diamond Hardware 7 eighths. Allen, does anyone even use Phillips head hardware anymore? I'm sure there's some, some people out there, but I uh, just feel like Allen wrench is the way to go, you know? To me, Phillips head feels like it's kooky talk. <laughs> Who does that? Yeah, I mean, you're, you're bound to strip the hardware for sure. Since my board is a twin nose, I have stopped using the color indicator, which normally you put, or I would put in the front, so I always know which one's my nose. But now that they're both my nose, I don't need uh, an indicator. I just uh, keep them all the same color. Now it's time for my, my trucks. Okay. That's the only problem when you hollow that. You have, okay. you have an issue here? The bro? only problem when you uh, use the screwdriver to open the, the holes in the grip tape is when you do too good of a job, they uh, can slip out, but it's okay. We can handle this. Venture 5.6s, Venture Highs, purple bushing, just all natural. 
I kind of miss the days where they used to have the Venture logo right here. But maybe that's just me for nostalgia purposes, but I kind of felt like that was just like a nice, nice little touch. You're the type of kid, it probably took you like, you probably were skating for like, I don't know, five or six years by the time you learned how to not put your trucks on backwards. Be no, honest, how many times no, did you put them around no, backwards? No way, I'm, I've probably done it a, maybe once or twice being excited, but there's no way that I've done, no. I, I wonder, I have, a, I have a funny story. Um, I did it, by the way, a couple years ago um, on accident. I was setting up a board for my daughter. But I remember, I'll never forget this um, story. I w it was in uh, San Francisco. We were at what was then called the New Spot, Third and Army. And um, it was when Henry Sanchez like, had a comeback and he was filming for his trans world video, Side Unseen. And we were on a City Stars trip up in San Francisco at the New Spot. And, um, you know, Kareem and those guys, Lee Smith from SF, you know, I think one of them talked to Henry, you know, and asked him if he wanted to come skate with us or whatever. He ended up meeting up and skating with us. Or maybe he was already going there and he randomly met up with us. I don't know. But he got there and he was setting up his board. He was setting up his board. He was about to skate. And he did it. He, he put one of the trucks on backwards. I just, I'll, I'll never forget. I'll just remember, like, because I, I, like, I was like, whoa, that's Henry Sanchez. Like, what? Like, the legend, like, Henry Sanchez. And, um, and I'll never forget. He was, like, setting up his board. I think it was, a, it was a whole new complete or something, but it was, either way, it was a brand new board. He's all set up. He's about ready to skate. He gets up and he realizes his truck's on backwards, and, he, and I just remember him going, good job, Henry. Good job. Put my truck on backwards. Not that um, insane of a story, but I just remember, like, I'll just, that's always imprinted in my mind every time I put my trucks on is that moment. Henry, Henry Sanchez put his truck on backwards. I wonder if by any chance he would remember that story, but anyways. Shout out to Henry, man. He's been he's been killing it lately. Still killing it. So when you when you do that, like, cause you probably do it a few times, you say, "Good job, Paul." Yeah, yeah, I'll do that. Like I did do that. Um, the last time I did, I was setting up a board in, in the backyard for Heaven. She wanted me to set her, her and her friend Ellie up a board. And I was setting them up for them. It was brand new completes, and I was setting up, and then, yep, board was flipped backwards. And I was like, "Good job, Paul." So. Um, yeah, that's just a random memory I have. I personally like tightening it up from the bolt side, just so you don't like run the risk of stripping the bolt or also having the Allen wrench accidentally slip out and you scrape your knuckle on the grip tape. I hate that. It hurts so bad. That's definitely happened to me before. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> you try to play it off cool like nothing just happened? Just like, ah, your knuckles are all bloody. I'm just getting different angles of the setup, but that's cool, dude. What's, what's, what's funny? Something, you thinking of something? I'm just in a giggly mood right now. It's all good. But it's also like it's super quiet in here, so you can hear every little sound. Mm -hmm. And like you're wearing swishy pants, so every step you make is. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah that the one episode <laughs> in George, yeah, where he's got the suit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wait, do you use the spacers? I happen to truly enjoy. I'm, I'm talking here. I'm sorry, bro. I just you were just grabbing the spacers, and I was just and I asked a question. I'm jumping the gun again. Yeah. Okay. Um, me? No, I don't use. I actually never understood what was the point of the spacers. Like, what do they do? Because like when you put them in the wheels, they just jiggle in between. The wheels have built-in spacers. Okay. But all bearings come with spacers. But like, I don't understand what the point is because the bearings are spaced by this little hole inside the wheels. By the way, right now I'm going to use some Spitfire Formula Four. 52 millimeters Spitfire Classics. But here's what I don't understand, okay? The spacer's in there. Mm -hmm. You hear it jiggling? So it's obviously just a loose piece of circular metal floating around in there. But it probably helps, so you know when your bearing has a little, little jam up? It probably stops it from getting the jam. But I can't understand how that does. First of all, these are bone Swisses and that does not happen to these up and down. So it's not going to move side to side okay. when the truck's in there, but okay, it can still on, move it, side it, up and down. Do it, shake. Yeah, I'm hearing the shake. All right, we got to, we'll, we'll, we'll see what it does. But, okay, it's in there. Spacer. Smooth. We'll see. Not much sound. Yeah, but that's always how they are. Do you never use the washers? 
I never, I mean, I just leave them on both on there, but now I'm putting one on each side, putting the space. What? This. this is new for you. Yeah, what if magically, I haven't literally done that since I was probably a little kid, like done it like exactly how. But what if magically all of a sudden, like, I can like skate, land every single trick, never get wheel bite, everything. That'd be awesome. I was trying to help you there. Dang it. See how I'm not used to it. What happened? I forgot to put the washer. On the other side. Oh. Now, finishing touch. I think I'm just going to go... I'll do that. That way I won't have to cut nothing. I feel like skaters don't put stickers on their boards like they used to. Yeah, I used to love doing a nice sticker job. You know why? Well, one, after you've set up so many boards in your life, it's just not as exciting. But also, two, when you know you're going to go through this whole elaborate sticker job and ride your board for what, three days? I know, that, that sounded very spoiled, Tr trust me, I know. It's better, but if you're street skating, you might even ride your board for one day, maybe two. But yes, I am aware, I am spoiled. But I worked really hard to be this spoiled, so please, cut me some slack in the comments, please, I know. I don't know if this is a fun fact, but I heard Back in the day, I think Chris Cole or you both, didn't you guys used to get your board screened with the stickers on it? Yeah. For the contest? Me, Cole, Sheckler. Uh, I wanna say I was the first to have it done. It was just for the contest with all my sponsors already. Uh, back in that era, like through Tour X Games, it, it was like contest back to back every weekend. So like, we just started having plan B, screen our boards with all our, uh, they would make us contest boards that was just the same plan B graphic. Ryan's was probably red, mine's was uh, like light blue. This was before Chris was on plan B, so he would do that with zero, but, uh, um, and we would just, they, we just had a sticker layout. It was just, boom, they would screen it on the board, so you didn't have to think about it. You just go set your board up for the contest and that's that. That's pretty I have some of them at the house hanging on the wall. That's pretty sick. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. It looks so real. Yeah, no, it looks exactly. Yeah. yeah. Significant difference between the. I think I'm pretty good at adjusting uh, pretty quickly. Dude, I think I got a request for you. What, switch flip to see if it's rocket? Nah. Well, you could do that for yourself. Nolly hard flip first try. Dude, no. What? Dude, I'm 38 years old. It doesn't just. I, I, dude, I have to warm up for at least. 20 minutes don't, before don't I'm not about that about the age thing, bro. Don't do that. Don't bring this age talk again. Don't Are you talk. kidding me? Were you not the one the other day? Like, my back. I woke up. I, what's wrong with my back? <laughs> my yeah, back. Yeah, and but, you're five years younger than me. Yeah, dude. but let's not talk about the age thing, bro, because age is just a number, Paul. Yeah, tell it to my knees, guy. Dude, can we just tell it to my ankles? Are you dropping more of your mess? Hey, what about a three flip? That, that's probably doing. Three flip and V heel are pretty good to go right out the gate. Which one do you want, V heel or three flip? First, let me, let me throw this away. I'm gonna use your board real quick. So. Okay, here's the, here's the thing. 
I'm gonna try tray flip and then V heel and then just for fun for the audience, I want the camera and I want you to do a trick. Bro. Where's your board, in the car? Yeah, yeah, I'll grab my stuff. We'll get in the car, let's go to the car first. No, let's just do that okay. first and then we'll do it after because it's editing, we can cut it. I got you. Yeah, but I wanna like, I do mine and then hand the camera, do that shot and film it. But see, I haven't warmed up either, dude. Okay, what's the difference? What trick do you want I me got, to try? I, got, I want you to kick flip. Oh, okay. I haven't done one in a bit. Oh, for this. You haven't done any trick in here. Dude, not, not true. You Don't, saw- Nolly 180 on the ground doesn't count, dude. The board moves, that's a trick that no, it's- No, board moving is not a trick. If you've been skating for over 20 years, which you have- Yup, well, let's not talk- Which you have- There's all this time A Nolly talk. 180 on flat ground doesn't count as a trick for you. Like, yes to a certain, if you do it on the stair, whatever, over something, but like, no, dude. You should be able to kick flip. You've been skating over 20 years. You should be able to kick flip, guy. Okay, all right. <laughs> Hurts my damn hands. This is gonna sound real crazy, but these pliers have been in my family for so many generations. <laughs> no, 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 hear me out. Hear me out, hear me out. My great, great grandfather. <laughs> no, no, no lie, these pliers were my, my dad. My great, great grandfather, my Mr. Coos the first. <laughs> no, no, Pass my, it down to, no, I'm not, I'm, I'm dead serious. I've, these pliers have been in my family since I was a kid. I can tell why, because of the grip. That's not a lot of generations. You know that, right? Since you were a kid, that's only one generation. But look, these are, these are. I can tell by the grip. Yeah, yeah they look fucking old, guy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but like. Yeah. Son of a biscuit. Mother trucker. <laughs> I hope. Not that any of us get hurt, but just for the content's sake, I hope one of us lands primo crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, ready? Yep. Which angle do you want me to come at you? Yeah, well, whatever you want. I'm just gonna match these. All right. Whoa! I can definitely feel the difference in the high trucks. Like, I missed my tail. I didn't pop at all. That was good. Easy to flip. We're good. I'm lightheaded. Um, all right. Are you good? You just need to be in, in this zone. You see? You don't have to go. Like, the zoom is right there. Can you see me? Am I in the frame? Yeah, hold on. Hold on. I'm like getting Are you my hand. Roll? I don't know. What am I? I'm trying to do my, my Dude, French. Try. I've been trying to see hold on. Hold on. Is it recording? It's already recording. Okay, hold on. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Hold on, I gotta go on the other side. Okay. Like you have to really try. I am. I'm really try. I'm gonna fake try. Try one more. Just I feel like that I can. Okay. Yeah, that's not bad. One more, one more, right? Yeah, Are come you still on, recording? I, yeah. You sure? I don't think you're recording. It's recording. Okay. Different when you're filming, you know? All right. You got it? Yeah, go. Oh! Dude! That was tight, huh? Third try. Okay, here. One more, no? Let me get... I'm so close, dude. Dude, I don't know. I thank God because... I don't know what to tell you, Mike, but being a filmer is boring. What? You gotta sit here, wait for some skater who can't land a fucking trick, try and This try, fourth try. Like, Fuck trust me, four. like, what I put you through, what I put you through, I have so much more respect for you now. Oh, come on, Kenny, one more try. I'm psyched, I'm psyched. Hold on. It's crazy that I did before a kickflip. Yes! Oh, Dang it! Oh, come on, dude. Dude! Ah. Should I still try to light it? Yes. We're in it. But no, for real. I got so much more respect. I've filmed, what, five tries? I'm already bored as hell. I got so much respect for you filming me like four hours straight. Just fucking filming, being bored as hell. Someone's gotta do it. All right, here we go. 
Let's just walk near. Come on! You're like me. You're not touching your tail at all. Dude. You're not popping. Like you said, the straight no warm-up feels crazy. No, Mike, you know, age is it's just a number. No, it is just a number. Because I'm doing it right now. <laughs> you look pretty warmed up to me. Setting the trend. It's called age just a number. That was tight. Now give us a kick flip then. Hold on, not fakey flip, kick flip. Come on, you gotta roll. All right, all right. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Thanks for pushing me. Thanks You're for right. filming. You all right there? Set up video? Yeah. Hell yeah. I felt weird, like my leg is used to popping at a different timing. It's like. That was tight. <laughs>